Introducing your new apprentice of NIMAG. Four, I know you wanted to from his mistakes. His accomplishments, your accomplishments, bro. Wishes to you, bro. That was a terrible cheers. That was a terrible cheers. I was one done. Uh, I, <laughs> I wasn't done. I was gonna say some sexy shit. I think going over at Second City. I think Charmaine is very overwhelmed with what she has going on. Char gets nothing but heat from social media and the fans, and it's really starting to affect her emotional state. They don't see what's behind the screens, behind doors. We see that. She's just had it with being on camera. She's been very affected by the way that she's been depicted. She's been very affected by the way that she's been getting a negative light shown on her. This whole environment, starting with Nine Mag, because that's where she started, has affected her life, I think, in general. Okay, so why not walk away? When you needed to. Because don't say it as if Nine Mag and everything that she was a part of just affected her, because she played big parts in that did she tell you when she played parts in Don and his marriage? She played parts with Ben. She played parts in me and my relationship. She played parts with Paul and all these different types of things. It was okay when it was on the other side of it, correct? So now that you're on the other side and you're getting the bad that we've gotten before, now it ain't working for you. Now it's all I'm depicted wrong. Welcome to the world of being seen. There's been times where I've received backlash from this very show's audience. You know, and that comes with the territory of living your life in front of a camera. You know, I mean, it's hard to deal with at times, you know, sometimes unbearable, but if what you're about is sticking to this and giving something that's relatable to the people, you just gotta work through it. So what I choose to do is take a step back. And if she falls in between it, I'm sorry. I wish I could be there for her. What I said nobody was gonna ever be able to do ever a damn again, let's take Caesar and Charmaine. Both of them did the same thing. They mad at me about some personal <laughs> Oh, what's the first thing they do? Oh, you fired. You fired or you get out my shop. Cause that's the only way they know how to hurt me. I think it's come to a point that we just gotta go our separate ways, yo. Huh? You need to get out the shop too. Get out the shop. Get out the shop. You little stank ass bitch. I said what nobody gonna have that power over me again the next time. I get put out of something, will be my own Man, I understand that all, you might be thrown off by, you know, how these people have acted to you in the past, but I mean, if you holding up a guard because of what everybody else has done, you'll never get nowhere. You gotta let that go, baby. Hey. How you doing? All right, all right. How you doing? Mm -hmm. All right, hang in there, man. Hang in there, hang in there, hang in there. And keep the faith, and uh, each day will get better. That's what we need. Keep faith. Everything will work, get better. Oh, love you, man. She's at peace. She loves you. You all can put smiles on her face. I used to wonder why she was so happy. Yeah, because she was proud of her kids. Be good. Be strong. Mm -hmm. All right. I know my grandfather is hurting and, and dealing because I know what my grandma meant to him, but you know, he also knows what he gotta do for his family. It's just always been an inspiration to me, you know, as the one who taught me how to draw. But also to see him be my first level of what I would consider a man is a, a, a level of strength that I just had to follow that was instilled in me without me knowing. When something bad happens, you can let it define you, let it destroy you. Uh, let it strengthen you. And we must let this strengthen us so she cannot go in vain. I love you. All right. They don't do that where you from. They gonna remember your name. They don't know that it's only be gone. Soul 
searching. I have to start to take care of me and making sure that I'm okay. London, I just have so much fun there. It's so light and it's airy. Also, I have a new business venture there. So, peace out for now, Chicago. my whole life thinking I was the only yes. child, so. And when my mom died thinking that was, that was it. I had really given up hope, and I guess, you know, when you reached out, it was just that, that sliver of hope, like, you know, maybe there's a whole other half of me out there. And I don't wanna miss out on the opportunity to know my, my siblings, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, at this point, it's so heavy on my heart, like, I don't even wanna guess about it no more. I just, I'm just ready to take these tests, girl. Get this done, figure yeah. it out. Before Stasia came, we agreed that we needed to know if we were related for real. So I picked up some of those over-the-counter tests for us to take together. I don't wanna be another number. I don't wanna be another case, no. Well, here's to possibly changing the rest of our lives. I don't want to be another gay. Okay. I don't want to be another number. If the tests come back negative, a part of me is a little sad. I don't want to be another number. Because it's like, all right, if this guy isn't my father, then who is? And will I ever find them? No, no, no. Like, I've been nothing but a good ass person. Okay. It's like, show me some mercy. Person, show, but, but you are delusional, too, bro. Show, no, you're delusional. You called me a hoe about 10 times, my because you're mad. You're giving me a whole vibe. You took pictures of the hoe. No, how? How? You're single. How are you supposed to be? Who? Go do what you want. So get out the crib, I got you in. Go find your own place to live right now. I will. 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 I got you in the mother Go move. Move then. Get the out. Get your own door in I feel like there's so much labor and tension between us because I know that there's still feelings there. Look at the way you're acting. Look at the way you're responding. Look at the way you treat me. You ready to just throw me out on top of your child with my baby going wherever I go. Any man that like throws that in your face, that's a definite sign of control. Be friends, nothing. I'm gonna take care of my son. You take care of your son. That's it, bro. Shot, oh. You can't do the front door. You know, I thought this was a nine mag outing, you know, so somebody can put the ops in the building. It's been a long time. No. All I'm gonna say from the jump is, I feel like me and you ain't got to talk about. And I feel like ain't no point of picking up Like, I'm gonna just take whatever it is and move the on. I feel like the past is in the past, you know what I mean? I left it for what it was. I showed up for my people. He showed up for a reason. I'm on my tunnel vision with me and mine. I think you understand what got us to this far. I don't. You don't know why me and you not connected. I you don't know why me and you are not connected. Tell me. I was totally thrown off. I didn't feel welcome. I didn't feel like I was supposed to be there. I would just hope to get some clarity out of the conversation. Just to be honest with one another without any lie, any fault, any flaw. Move past all the boys that we've been through and talk like men. I think what the real issue was, bro, was that tattoo 
from years ago because Shorty came back after him. She she actually sued me for over six hundred thousand dollars. And why I end up having to pay that bill, G? I ain't know that. And and guess what happened? Y'all fine. I know I get it, bro. I know what you. But so without me knowing or without me getting certain paperwork, but then when we didn't show up to none of them court dates, we lose by default. And out of nowhere, you owe half a million, and I do too. When they were sending to you and you never showed up to court, they said, that, we taking their ass to the cleaners. I did not know. And you know me not to be a liar. I don't come here sitting playing games with you or anybody else. Whoa. Is your clients? What's up? Oh. Ryan really knows how to return home from a trip. I have nothing to do with this. This is a tattoo shop, man. I'm honestly trying to figure out who it is. It's probably Prince Hakeem. I don't know what the is going on. This is a mighty big entrance for somebody who's not Beyonce. Y'all looking for the dance club? It's your own thing. Well, f it, I'm feeling it right now. Introducing your new apprentice of NIMAG. The one and only Miss Kitty. Well, that's a big old interest for somebody who ain't Prince Akeem. Not the president, not the new vice president. <laughs> couldn't have princess at nine mag. Well, I changed my mind. <laughs> Surprise. What's up, man? What's up? Oh, wow, you. you're matching me. Wow, that's crazy. That's crazy. That Great minds think alike. Great minds think alike. How you doing? I'm good. How are you? I just really wanted to um, apologize for the way things went down the other day on my be on my behalf. You know, we better than that. I mean, I appreciate you apologizing. We know how it gets, you know, we get crazy, I get crazy, you get crazy. And just even in that moment itself, I just wanted to be kind of understood. Let me have a voice, like I gave you a voice. Let's be fair about it. Gotcha. I went to Dallas, you know, and I was kind of talking to Don about everything that happened. You know, mm -hmm. and you know, he going through things right now with his child's mom. And you know, he was just kind of giving me like some advice on how like the things he's been dealing with. I don't ever want to reach that point with you where it's no, there's no source of contact. I don't know what's going on with you or forever. And I would hate to have to do that, you know? That's why I'm like, we got to do better. Well, we got to get better. We should better never with do that. Communicating. Like, I don't want to come off like that. I don't want to have to ever like shut down on you. And I don't want you to have to shut down on me. Most importantly, I feel like for the sake of our son, like we do need to work on, you know, having a better relationship. As long as it's forever it's in our best interest. Absolutely. That's all that matters. That baby, Absolutely. that baby boy. This is a positive step for us. I'm glad that me and Herka had this conversation and see the vision to raise our son the right way, man. Without the stress, without the headaches, and we can make this fun. What's going on with you in like, you know, Chicago? You gonna stay here? What you thinking? Well, I've decided to move. So I've decided to go to Atlanta. Let me talk you to you all. Let, let me talk you to don't. you all. Don't. Don't pretend Don. like you do. Don. Don, bro, you Don look at me. Every time, bro. Don. You stunt, bro. Don. I stunt. You stunt. Don, like I don't you never said that. You think I'm going to sit here and let you tell me I'm not a good bro, wife and I'm going to still again, be cool you with you? Let me tell no, you don't. You never you tell, me me tell me that. You. Gee, if you would have told me that, we wouldn't even be here right now. You are. Because if you tell me I'm not a good wife, I wouldn't even waste my time even doing this just look at me. Real look talk. at me. Look at me. I'm not I need lying. you to regulate. I need you to regulate. Bring your eyes, your eyes to me. Look at me. Bring yourself back. Here we go. The reason why I let you all even do this is because the only time you all began to share your deepest truth is when you're in a rage. And when you're sharing your deepest truth, you can't hear. And if the only way you can tell your deepest truth to each other is through that, y'all don't know each other. Right now, I am just having like 
a whirlwind of emotions. I'm really about to meet my father for the first time. I've played this moment over in my head a thousand times and I still have no idea what I'm gonna say to him, if he even decides to show up. I dream. This is for you. This is for you, Mom. Thank you. Thank you. How are you? Oh, man. Uh, you are so beautiful. yelling so much. He's having fun. <laughs> Like, Jen literally got yanked out of the botanical garden to come to work, and he hasn't had a client. We're not hourly employees. So we don't get paid if we don't do a tattoo. It was supposed to be like 10 to 15 people here, and there was only six. You can, you can dilute this oh. edit this just thought Jet was joking. Then once I started to really listen to what he was saying, I feel like one of the reasons that he went so crazy is he was talking about production. When the artists come in sometimes, if they're setting up to do a scene, and then, you know, if they're playing music, the music is so loud sometimes. And you know, production might ask them to turn the music down or turn the music off, and you know, they feel some type of way about it. I do feel he could have gone about it another way instead of losing his Girl. Ryan. Has anybody talked to Ryan? I don't think so, but he gonna be mad when he find out. You got your moment to say everything you said. What a boom I get. Talk about it right now. Everything you just said, talk about it, but make it make sense. How you feel? Use okay. your time. Stay, stay. Nah, we ain't say this either you talk or not go talk. Don't talk when ain't nobody listening. Talk when it's your time. Everybody then say it again so the world can hear. What's that, Ryan? Hey, brother, I got you a going away gift. Yeah. You're gonna miss a little fun tonight, man. Your brothers, you know, wow. got a, a quick trip down memory lane for you. Take this with you. Nah, for sure. You did. Love you, man. Love you too, my brother. Nah, man, at one point, felt like a place of no egos. We stood by each other no matter what was going on. And when you look at these pictures, it just reminds you of how it feels to do something phenomenal next to a group of people you truly love. No matter what, history will never take away that I did something super dope with my family. Get something like this presented to me, you know what I mean? It, it hit different, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'm like... That's why we did it. It really Take pictures. These motherfucking memories. And it's not just, they, they not just pictures, bro, they, they memories. You Real know? memories in that thing. <laughs> That's why this means so much to me, bro, because I see everything we went through. And I've been by your side, bro. I ain't quitting on nobody, man. You my dog, bro, and when I say that, I mean it, bro. Now listen, bro, I ain't got no brothers. I got y'all sitting here that didn't welcome me in to be a brother over these years, bro. That's, just, that's some real Shout out to y'all, bro. Don, Ryan, Four, like, bro, y'all created something that's never been done before y'all and ain't been done after y'all. The energy that y'all brought to the city, this monstrosity of a business y'all made, bro. Can't be Y'all did that out the mud. Can't be matched. Out of wreck, can't be matched, bro. Can't be matched. Everybody's going their separate ways and everybody doing their own thing. I feel like it's a beautiful thing. 
I don't even look at this as a bad thing because at the end of the day, y'all saw what y'all can do together. But when we separate, we know we putting in work. Four, I know you wanted from his mistakes. His accomplishments, your accomplishments, bro. Wishes to you, bro. That was a terrible cheers. That was a terrible cheers. I was one done. Uh, I, 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 I wasn't done. I, I was going to say some sexy This is four. This is four four. He gave us a shot town anthem. It's no more ordinary lifestyle. I mean, this show is crazy, OK, guys? But I learned a lot, been through a lot, you know, and I'm proud to say I was a nine mag artist, you know, and that's going to remain with me. It's tied on me. It's going to stay on me. Was it worth it? Yeah. She want to put a from the shy town. Shy town. When I first came into the circle with Ryan and the guys, we were young, hardy animals. Now, you know, we are older, we're entrepreneurs, we're fathers. And part of that was having each other's backs. Me and Ashley have been through way worse of stuff. I mean, it's been 10 years. These type of things that we're dealing with right now are going to keep happening. But it's all about putting the effort to work through them. I know that we are going to be okay. We have to remember to death do us part. We got to fight for each other and we got to keep pushing through. She like, man, for you be litty. Just left over east, now we ride on a lady. I've been drinking behind a museum. I did bring the world to Nymac. And I definitely have zero regrets for doing that. Everybody played their part in growing Nymac to be what it was. Myself, Four, Cat, Van, we all played a part in it. And in that, I developed some friends and some family, and I developed uh, another layer of loyalty that allowed for me to be so dedicated to growing others, I didn't even focus on myself. With that being said, you know, it's time for me to move forward with my own life. Yay!